one of the biggest culprits of patellar tendinopathy is changes in load. I've experienced this a number of times in my life, but to give you a specific example, in the spring of 2021, I went out to Long Beach and I was doing pretty good with my volumes. I was dunking once or twice per week. I was lifting once or twice per week. I did not have any patellar tendon pain. And then on one of the Sundays, I played basketball. I was feeling pretty good. Between each game, I was getting a few dunks in. And then I went up for one dunk and I strained something in my rib cage. I think it was an oblique strain. So after that happened, I limped off. It was pretty difficult to breathe. For the next two weeks, I was basically on bed rest. I could walk around, but I couldn't do any lifting lower body. I couldn't do any jumping. I couldn't do any sports. Uh, pretty much everything hurt. So after about two to three weeks, I went back out to the courts. I was feeling pretty good, played a few games, pick up basketball, and then I decided to go up for a few dunk attempts. I got four dunk attempts total. Didn't think it was a major thing. And then the next morning, I had awful patellar tendon pain, and that lasted for a few weeks. So what exactly is going on? In this study with Jill Cook and Sean Docking, they have this graph where you can look at load and say your current patellar tendon load, let's say that's two dunk sessions per week. If you completely take that away for two weeks and you move it to zero dunk sessions, you get a shift in the curve to the left. So if you want to come back after two weeks to what you used to do, it's probably going to be too much for your patellar tendon because the capacity of your patellar tendon has went way down because you took the load away. So the lesson here is when you have significant downtime for whatever reason, you have to appreciate that your patellar tendon capacity has went way down. So what you need to do is use extreme caution when you're coming back. Use lower intensity jumps, use lower volume jumps, and progress very slowly over time. Pay attention to how your patellar tendon feels the next morning. So try that out. Hopefully that helps. Enjoy.